So the topic I'm breaching today is uh, the pros of owning a motorcycle and using it as a primary transportation for a university or a college student. Um, I am a university student, and I'm you know a young adult, and not a very wealthy young adult, uh, which I think most young adults and college students uh, are in the same boat. So most of them are going to relate to cost issues and cost effectiveness. So the first one is not really in order or anything. The first one is going to be uh, fuel economy. That is definitely a huge selling point that you hear on uh, forums online, YouTube videos from your friends. If you go into a dealer, that's the first thing. If you want a small bike, if you tell them you're a college student or you're just a, you know, in your 20s and young professional, that's a big selling point for motorcycles. So fuel economy. My I drive a Kawasaki Eliminator or ride, pardon me, a Kawasaki Eliminator 125. So I have a really small motorcycle. It says it gets 95 to the gallon, or at one point in time it got 95 miles per gallon. That's of gas. So uh, that's that's pretty pretty amazing. That's about more than twice of what uh, Toyota Prius gets on a good day. Now. Years have gone by, and I imagine those uh, things do not hold true anymore. So uh, I get closer to 85, 90 in ideal conditions riding my motorbike. But still, 85 to 90 miles per gallon is amazing. Like, I have a car as well, and, and I, I'm happy to get, like, 25, 26 a gallon. And I have, a like, a, a small, fuel-efficient Toyota that's pretty new, so I don't, you know... Fuel efficient. They they sip fuel. Um, my my gas bills. Well, I had before I had the motorcycle in the car. I had two cars uh, in our family, and uh, between my wife and I, we spent about one hundred and fifty dollars on gas. And we probably spend uh, now that we have just the one car and the motorcycle. And I ride the motorcycle around pretty re- relatively, pretty pretty much a lot. I mean, that sounds funny the way I said that. I ride the motorcycle for a lot of errands and just going from point A to point B when I don't have to ride with anyone or when my wife's not coming with me. So if I'm traveling by myself, I'm going to use a motorcycle unless it's like pouring down rain. So they're great for that. Uh, second thing I'm going to go to is insurance. Now, yes, it's expensive to insure a bike if you're getting a leader bike or a racing bike, a super sport. Um, most bikes that are going to be a starter or college bike is going to be uh, a 250 or a 500 or a 125 or whatever. Uh, so small bikes are actually really pretty cheap to insure. I pay 75 bucks. Now I have I have I have pretty good insurance, really good insurance. I don't have any accidents. I don't have any speeding tickets. I'm a pretty safe driver, uh, and I don't have a very expensive bike, of course. I pay 700 dollars a year. Let me read that. Seventy-five dollars a year. I'm twenty-two. Now I am married, so that affects that. That brings it down. But I'm twenty-two, and I pay seventy-five dollars a year to insure this thing. I've paid more than that in a month to insure cars, and not nice cars. You know, I'm not. I'm, I don't. I've not ever owned a luxury car, or anything of that nature. Sports car, a fast car. I mean, it. You know, insurance is really pretty cheap as long as you stay like. Away from the super sports and the large leader bikes, or you know, like you don't own a Harley Davidson or a, I don't know, a Moto Guzzi or something like that. If you stick to like 500 and under, you're still gonna be pretty good. Stay away from the super sports. So insurance pretty cheap. Uh, I'm, I'm coming up to this gas station. I, I shot this in another video, of this same road, but I did it out, so it sounds really crap. So I have to re-go over with now with my new sound setup and. uh... Uh, come on, come on. I'm gonna turn around here. Let me get to this gas station. It's kind of the only place you can turn around. Um. So, let me stop up here. Stress relief is another big thing. Like, if you're just feeling stressed out, which university students are, I mean, it's stressful to be a university student, live life, you know, be looking for jobs. Um working as well as going to school if you are so it's it's good stress relief <clears throat> if you if you ride to work as well or ride to school it just also makes it a lot more enjoyable going to those destinations so i think 
I'm gonna try to keep this video shorter, so. I'm gonna try to, uh. I'm gonna cut this again. <clears throat> probably make a two part pro, and then probably a. I don't know, maybe one part con. There's less cons for Arden Marshall. At least I think of less of them as cons. I am riding a motorcycle. <clears throat> so, uh, stress relief. They can be fun. They can be, um, like a therapy to people. So, you don't always have to just be going from point A to point B. Sometimes you just want to, you know, do what I'm doing now and ride out on country road and just cruise, you know. It's, it's lots of fun. And not spend a lot of money because I'm not, I get good ass mileage. I'm not going fast, so. Um... I'll probably split the video there. I don't know.